In this video that I created with Google Vids, I'm going to show you how to get started with Google Vids and create one of your own. But first, you're probably wondering, what is Google Vids? Well, it's a web-based video creation platform that allows anyone to create amazing looking videos without any previous video editing experience. It's part of the Google Workspace suite, so teachers and students have access to this new tool. Let's start by walking you through how to get to it. Make sure you're logged into your Google account, click on the waffle, and then go to your drive. In Drive, you're going to click New. You're going to get the pop-up menu and scroll down to Google Vids. Of course, like anything Google, there's lots of ways to get here, but this is the way that's been working best for me right now. It's going to give you the option for a template, which I say explore the templates. They look amazing and it makes it a lot easier. Choose one and you can decide if you want to insert all the scenes or just some of the scenes. For this, I'm just going to insert them all because I can always delete what I don't want. Another thing I love about Google Vids is it's very googly. So if you've used other Google tools like Slides, it's really similar. To change what's already there, you can just click over, change the font, type what you want. Google Vids and Slides share a user-friendly interface with similar layouts, drag and drop functionality, and lots of customization options, making Vids easy to learn if you're familiar with Slides and other Google tools. Both seamlessly integrate with other Google Workspace apps, so you can easily add content from your Google Drive and Photos. You can also add stock images and videos. I want to replace this video that was part of the template, so I'm just going to click on it and delete it and also delete the text boxes. Now, I'm going to click on the stock images icon to the right of the screen and search for the word cake. From here, I can choose whatever I want, drag it into my video and resize it to fit the screen. Now I have the perfect video within my Google vid. I can change the colors just by looking at the toolbar on the top. I can change fonts, sizes, uh, really, again, just like you have been doing in Google Slides for a long time. Just highlight what you want to change and go to the toolbar and make your changes. I can delete anything that's there just by clicking on it and hitting delete or backspace. And I can insert other things. Uh, you can insert text, shape, images, all kinds of different designs. And just like all the other Google things, I can change the colors and customize it to meet my needs. This is my favorite feature. I can share my Google vid and work collaboratively with someone else. This is such a fantastic feature that has been lacking forever. You just click share, you type in the name of the person or people that you wanna share with, you have the option of making them an editor, a viewer, or a commenter. Choose what you want and click send. And now you are able to collaborate creating a video. A couple more quick tips. You can click on the images at the bottom of your screen and drag them to rearrange. To add more content to your video, click the plus button. And if you need to delete a scene, just click on the one you want to delete and press backspace or delete. Earlier, we added a stock video, and you can add photos or digital stickers the same way. Just click the stock media icon on the right, type in whatever you're searching for, and you'll get a nice variety of images to choose from. Choose what you want and either double click or drag it into your project. Okay, now let's take a look at our finished video. Just press play. I think it came out pretty good and it only took me a few minutes to put together. If you're wondering where the music came from, that was included in the original template. So that's a very brief overview of how to get started using Google Vids. There are many more cool features that I'll cover in future videos, but I think I gave you enough to get started. 
Remember, this is a brand new tool, so the features will be changing and evolving. So far, I love Google Vids and have found it has nearly the same features as iMovie and WeVideo, but it's free.